So your project, as you mentioned, also focuses on other diseases. So you're, you're tracking PDV, Delta Corona, uh, as well as mycoplasma. Can you comment on any trends or patterns you're seeing with any of the other diseases currently? Yeah, for sure. So for the entire coronavirus, we have those three agents, that is TG, PD, and Delta Corona. TG, it's very curious to see. In a year, we have less than a handful number of cases that tested positive for TG even though we tested basically 3,000 cases per month. So it's an agent that we can basically speculate that it's circulating at very, very low levels of prevalence in the United States. PED, we are having a year with lower detection of these agents when we compare with historical years. So that's a, a good sign. We know how to deal that by enters a, a farm. So, and Delta coronavirus seems like we had some activity of this agent above the expected during the winter months. And that may contribute for more testing to detect the agent, but else may be contributed by uh, opportunity that the agent may have found to circulate and infect other farms before we really knew that was around and causing problems. If you look for Delta coronavirus, it's an agent that doesn't cause as much problem as PD when it enters a south farm. So that may contribute for delay a little bit in detection and whenever possible it's spread around. And the other agent that is a bacteria that's mycoplasma hyomone, it's an interesting agent. We are having the lower level of detection for this agent right now. And it's kind of during the fall months is where we really start to see increased detection for this one 